we're continuing the entry of loving those who study Torah. So he said last time that if you have a relative who is a Tamit Chacham, how much more so you're obligated to love him more and more. And we know that the responsibility of the Torah scholar's brothers and other relatives is to give him support with enthusiasm and generosity. You have to be generous with them. So he can continue to push him to continue in his serving of Hashem. And you give honor to HaKadosh Baruch Hu this way. And Hashem will be pleased that you helped your own family, Chesh, to go and continue to be a Torah scholar. So therefore, we know that the Torah is Etz Hayim. It's a tree of life. Etz Hayim Hinim Hazikim Ba. It is a tree of life to those who support it, who hold on to the Torah. So therefore, you should know that you're giving yourself a big bracha. For this is the support the people who are supporting the Torah, who are upholding the Torah, the Tamidech Chachamim. However, when people do give money to the Medrash Hamim and do give support, sometimes Hasve Shalom the Yesara can make us think something are wrong. Mm-hmm. What is that wrong thought? Says the Pelewetz, Hasve Shalom Lo Mipnei Shadam Mispek Tzachet Tamid Chacham Yakel Beinav. Do not let the Tamid Chacham become low in your eyes. And you Hasve Shalom say, Oh, I support you. Without me, you would be nothing. Let let see you go work. Let him go work. Why 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 should I give him so much kavod? He he just freeloads. He just takes all, all every more month support from me. What he, he's nothing special. Hazav shalom. You lose respect for him from this that you give him a parnasa. Hazav shalom. Don't think he owes you something because you gave him. Rather, you should realize that the, the money you have that you gave to him is because the Kaddish Baruch gave it to you because you're going to give it to him. People think, it's my money, why should I give him my money? I worked hard, let me let him go work hard. But a person has realized the reason why you went to work and made, and the other guy went to work and didn't make, is because Hashem knew that you were going to go and give to the Tamit Chacham. So therefore it ends up being, the reason why you got money was because you were supposed to give it to him. It's not your money. Hashem gave you the money that was supposed to be his, he deposited it by you to give you the zikhut to do the misma. Of Sadaqah. You're doing the message, your messenger of Akadash Baruch Hu. And a person has to know, the more, the, who gets the better end of the deal? You give him a little bit of Olam What does he give you? Olam so You're the one receiving the better end of the deal. He's getting the short end of the stick, you're getting the bigger end of the stick. So if a person shouldn't look down at him, Hazel Shalom, the Tamil Chachami gives to him, Hashem gave you to give him. And therefore you'll know that you're going to get Olam Abba, Lacheni Zer Bechvodo. Therefore you'll be very careful to honor them, even though you support them. What? And he says, Gam Tamil Chachami Tzrich Li Zer Bechvod Achehem, Ashirim, Ma'anim, Otam, Achazikim, Yadam. Obviously the Tamil Chacham has to be respectful, and he has to have a car to tov to those who uh, support them. As we know, Rabbi Rebbe and Rabbi Kiva, how you mechabdim et ha'ashirim. The Gemara Sechel Eravin says, Rebbe and Rabbi Kiva used to honor the, the rich people. Mm-hmm. Why? Even though Rebbe and Rabbi Kiva are wealthy themselves, it's because they give a lot of tzedakah, and they support a lot of tamidei chachamim, so therefore they deserve a lot of honor as well. So therefore you have to show them respect, you have to, you know, share in their in their good times and their bad times, you give them support, you have to show up to, you know, their yoshvo, show up to their, you know, family events and give them advice and give them chizuk and you see, uh, you know, they need something, you know, spiritually you help them with that, but a person has to know that it's all about the attitude, the attitude a person is supposed to have towards Tamidei Chachamim. It's like how the Orach Haim HaKadosh says. The Orach Haim HaKadosh says that in, the, in the times of Mashiach, it will be that the Torah, everybody will be so thirsty, not for water, the, the Navi says, not for, not for food. They'll be thirsty for Torah. The Orach Haim HaKadosh says you'll be like a person in the street looking for a Tamil Chacham. You, you, you know Torah? You sit here. I want, tell me a Hidush. I want to hear a Hidush. Tell me from the Zohar. Tell me from something you know powerful. Tell me something from Orach Haim HaKadosh. I want to hear. That's how thirsty you'll be. As he says, there will be like crazy people. It will be like a like a person. You go to the you go to you go to the the, the places where there's a Hazav uh, Shalom drug dealers. You will be people who are addicted to drugs. They will go in the corner looking. Oh, you, you have Torah. You have Torah. Give me, give me. I'll pay you money. Sit down and tell me a Devar Torah. That's how thirsty people will be in the end of days. So says our uh, Hayim That's how our respect and that's how our desire for Talmud Chachamim should be. That we have to realize a community is only as good as its rabbis are. Because as good as the rabbis are, and how good at educate, educating the community they are, that's how good the community will be. And as good as the schools, as good as the rabbis in the schools, as good as the rabbis in the shuls, as good as the, the, the rabbis who deal with the laymen every single day, 
as good as they are, is how good the layman and the, and the balabatim will be, and how good the community will be. So therefore, a person has to make sure to stick to good ones, to bring good ones, and to support the good ones, who are leading the way, and shukul bringing us every single day, closer and closer to the Kodesh Baruch Hu. So therefore, we have to teach ourselves to give honor, we have to teach our, our family to give honor, we have to teach our children to give honor to the shul, to the mechachamim, in order for us to become kulemek closer to the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Baruch Hu,